Good evening, everyone. Tonight we have three rack packs of 1986 Fleer. We're only looking for one thing, and that is the Jose Canseco, I mean Eric Plunk, rookie card. You know, that's pretty much the only thing of value in this set, at least to me. So that is what we are looking for. So we'll go ahead, we'll take a look at the Beckett, just to take a look and see, you know, how things have changed over the years. All right, tonight we have the August of 87 issue of Beckett with Bo Jackson there on the cover. There's a rated rookie there on the bottom. And let's see here, 1986 Fleer. What do we got here? Set booking in at 30 bucks. You see Vince Coleman, $1.75. Todd Worrell, Rookie of the Year, a dollar. Lenny Dykstra, a buck. Dwight Gooden, a buck fifty. Don Mattingly, four dollars. Let's see, Eric Davis, two fifty there. And what else we got down here? We got Chris Brown, rookie card, a dollar. Teddy Higuera, a dollar. A hot one there, a good old Teddy Higuera. Who are these fucking guys? Uh, what do we got here? We got Dwight Gooden, All-Star. Uh, let's see, other insert sets here. Pete Rose. And you got Conseco Plunk, rookie there, 750. You got Cecil Fielder, Corey Snyder, rookie, that card, 350 there. Cal Daniels, $2 and hot. And you got Boggs Mattingly, $1.75. And we got Mattingly over there in action, $1.25. And Boggs Clemens, a buck fifty. And, you know, that's pretty much it. So basically, you're looking for the Conseco, you know, some might say Cecil Fielder, etc. That was from back in the day. So let's take a look at the current Beckett. And let's see here. There we are down at the bottom there, 86 Fleer. Factory set, 40 bucks. And what do we have up here at the top? We have, let's see, Brett, $2. You got Manually, $2.50. Pete Rose, $2.50. You know, the usual Hall of Famers and stars there. Clemens, 5 bucks. Let's see, Paul O'Neill, rookie card, $4. Conseco, 8 And Cecil Fielder, 2 So basically, according to Beckett, not much has changed in, you know, 34 years. Conseco now is $8 versus seven fifty. So that's where we stand. So we'll go ahead and I'll get these opened up here in a second and we will start opening these packs. All right, so we are back. As you can see, I saved you the aggravation of watching me struggle to open those. So I thought it'd be best to open them off camera. So you have inside the rack pack, you have individually sealed wax packs, which I like about the old Fleer because, you know, it makes you a little more comfortable that they haven't been gone through. So versus, you know, normal wax packs, I prefer to just buy the racks this way, you know. It's a little harder to reseal rack packs up than it is just regular wax packs. So we'll go ahead and we'll get started on these. Hopefully we can pull something good for you tonight. I'm hoping, like I said, to get a Conseco. Would be nice. All right, we got a nice sticker here. And then we got, looks like, one of the All-Star inserts or Hall of Famer insert set, Nolan Ryan. And let's see, we got Charlie Huff, Vita Blue. Bill Duran, Jay Howell, and we have here, we got Billy Joe Robido and Mark Funderburk. Just what I was looking for. All right, and then we got Neil Allen, Bob Kearney. Boy, look at those glasses. All he's missing is that white panel van. We got a nice Ricky Henderson there. I'll put Ricky Henderson in the back. We got Danny Darwin. Oh, we got, ooh, a checklist. I should put that in the front row. Jamie Kokenauer, another hot one. Steven Taveros, Walt Terrell, and Gary Reedus. All right, so we got a Ricky Henderson and a Nolan Ryan insert there, Hall of Famer. So not bad, I guess. Could be worse. All right, and we have a Houston. Collect and decorate with baseball stickers. I like the stickers from back in the day compared to some of the newer ones. You got Bob McClure, you got George Bell, Alejandro Pena looking all goofy, Jim Beatty, Ron Reynolds, John Wathen, Ron Romanick, Andy Van Slyke, I think it's his second year maybe, Mike Balecki, Louis Aguayo, Juan Berenguer, you got Ozzy Virgil, Bruce Souter, another checklist, Two for two, two packs, two checklists on a roll. 
glad you could join us tonight here. And make sure you click that subscribe button. Click the notification icon. That way you know when I get off my lazy butt and post a video. You got a nice Kansas, excuse me, Kansas City sticker. You got Jim Slayton, Steve Trout, not related to Mike Trout, of course. Al Callens, Bruce Bakhti, Greg Harris, Dave LaPointe, Glenn Davis, Tim Burtzis. Who we got here? Tim Laudner, Bob Welch, Kevin McReynolds, Ron Guidry, Louisiana Lightning, Ernie Riles, Joel Davis, and Eric Davis. Definitely a hot one back then. Eric Davis was all the rage. Thought he was the next power speed superstar like Canseco, but didn't necessarily pan out. All right, we got a Yankee sticker followed by Mr. October, Reggie Jackson. Hall of Feature, Hall of Famer insert. Not bad there. And then we got Boggs and Brett, Boggs and his hero. Pretty nice card. Put him in the back there. We got Gary Renicky, Don Baylor, Steve Balboni, Ed Lynch. Staff aces, Fernando Valenzuela and Dwight Gooden. Green card, okay. You're now Fernando Valenzuela. You had 21 wins last year. All right. UL Washington, Ken Schramm, George Vukovic, Vance Law. And we got a Paul O'Neill rookie card. With Oh, yeah, it's also Cal Daniels rookie card. But nobody cares about Cal Daniels. All right, we got Luis De Leon, Ed Romero, and Rance Mullenix. All right, so we got a Paul O'Neill rookie card. Not too bad. Not the rookie card I'm looking for. Well, we still got five packs left. All right, we got a Detroit sticker. And we got a Pete Rose future Hall of Famer. Good old Charlie Hustle. Mike Hargrove, Lance McCullers, Tim Hewlett, Chris Spear, Nate Snell, Brian Little, Dan Dreesen, Burt Malai Levin, Rob Deere, Jason Thompson, Urbano Lugo, Rick Sutcliffe, Jim Presley, and Tommy John. Looking all youthful there in his A's uniform. All right, we just passed the halfway point here in this rip. No Conseco yet. They will not riot, so no one has to board up their towns. Okay, Denny Walling, Juan Beniquez, Jeff Lottie, Steve Farr, Ron Say, Eddie Milner, Don Carmen, Dale Murphy, who should be in the Hall of Fame, Jose Guzman, Wade Boggs. That's a nice Wade Boggs. I'm not going to say that's a nice Bob Stanley, though. I'll get your hopes up. I'll look Tony Gwynn there, two of the best hitters of you know our era. You know Tony Gwynn and Wade Boggs. You got Bob James, Otis Nixon. We've got a tumor going in his face there. And Larry Sheets. All right, so this is what I'm talking about with not worrying about packs being searched. You know, getting all the stars, all the all the cards, etc. Definitely the way to go is, you know, through the rack packs, especially with the older Fleer ones where they're sealed wax packs inside the rack. Can't beat that. Chris Bando, Craig Lefferts, Scott Fletcher, Ron Meredith, Tippy Martinez, Bruce Tanner, Dan Gladden, Pete Filson, Dan Pasqua, Jim Wynn, Bob Boone, Ray Fontenot, Fontenot, you got Dave Henderson, and Ray Searage, and Dave Rosima. This is basically the common pack there. I know you're going to tell me Dave Henderson was an all star, but I mean, card wise, he's a common. All right, let's see here. We got good old Cleveland. And we got Dave Engel, Jerry Willard, Tim Wallach. Oh, we got an Andres Galarraga rookie card. Not bad. I guess we'll put Nolan Ryan there in the back. We'll put Galarraga's rookie. We got Tim Stoddard, Charlie Moore, Damaso Garcia, Carlos Diaz. We got Bob Long, Tom Gorman, Willie Wilson, Mike Witt, Jack Clark. Definitely some stars there of the 80s. 
you know, Mike Witt, Willie Wilson, Jack Clark, Sid Bream, and Larry Anderson. All right, so last pack. Got no Conseco, no Cecil Fielder so far. Can we get some last pack magic? We got a Cubs sticker on top. Is that a good omen or a bad omen? All right, we got Daryl Motley. We got Bobby Gritch, William McGee, Mike Brown. Another one that should have that white panel van. We got Kent Tacolve riding shotgun for Mike Brown there in the white panel van. You got Larry Herndon, Glenn Wilson. You got Terry Forster, Gooden in action. That's a good one there. Marty Barrett, Jamie Easterly is in the back of that white panel van, definitely. And you got Carmelo Martinez, Ozzie Guillen rookie card. Not too bad, I guess. Bill Hatcher and Storm Davis. All right. So, got no Conseco. Bummed about that, of course, obviously. Uh, no Cecil Fielder. Not really that bummed about that. But still, not too bad. You know, we got Paul O'Neill rookie, Galarraga, Ozzie Guillen. You got some stars and Hall of Famers there, so not too bad. Like I said, going rack packs is definitely the way to go with the older Fleer. Because like I said, you got the wax pack inside the sealed rack pack plastic. So definitely better odds of it not being searched. And with the prices going up on these wax boxes now... It's very lucrative for someone to just take those packs and reseal them and then put it put it on eBay. So, you know, you got to be careful. Only buy from someone reputable. You know, don't buy that whole from a sealed case. Everyone puts that in a listing. So definitely don't buy in that crap. You know, buy from someone you trust or get something that you know is sealed. You know, and it's worth spending a little bit extra money this way here. Because, I mean, we all know it costs a lot of money and our money is hard-earned. So you don't want to waste it on a box and you open it up finding out you got someone's repack crap. So... Definitely keep that in mind when you're shopping on eBay or whether you're you know, buying local even. And I appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you in the next video.